Well, starting tomorrow, the Urban League will serve as a COVID vaccination location. It's part of a plan to make the vaccine more accessible in minority communities. News 8's multicultural reporter Katira Winfrey has the story. It was just decided Monday to make the Indianapolis Urban League a location and organizers say while there are multiple places to get the vaccine, the people who live in the center of the city or downtown, accessibility is still very much a problem. The world is moving forward in the fight against COVID-19 with multiple vaccinations available, distribution spots are being set up around the country and here in Indiana. The latest vaccine stop the Indianapolis Urban League. We recognize that there may be some vaccine hesitancy in our community, you know, and obviously history has a lot to do with that. Tony Mason is president and says Walmart reached out to him looking to set up shop here. The Urban League has played an important role during the pandemic, helping minority community members get access to resources. This is an extension of that work. It's a big relief for some. I think it's important to note too that right now when you think about our community, you know, frankly, some people are still skittish about going inside of stores where there are a lot of people. This location will distribute the Pfizer vaccine for six weeks, enough time to ensure those who come will be able to get both doses at the same location. Pre-registration is advised and patients are reminded to bring photo ID, insurance and or other Medicare information. Myself as a pharmacist, um, I can say that I am so excited to be able to provide this service to our population and to our community. Um, I think everybody can agree that we are ready to get back to normal. Each day, crews expect they'll be able to administer 234 vaccines. The reality of it is, is we know that people are dying of COVID-19 each and every day. And we owe it to ourselves to be open. You are encouraged to register ahead of time to help speed up the process. And remember, right now, people 60 and older are the only ones eligible for the vaccine. Reporting in the studio, I'm Wish TV News 8's multicultural reporter, Katira Winfrey.